Today we are getting wet, so stick around. Thanks for sticking around guys. Uh, if this is your first time joining me, welcome to ATOS Outdoors. This channel is all about my journey into the outdoors and what I learn along the way. So if you are interested in that, then please click subscribe, it's down here. Um, turn on the notification bell to be notified when I post videos. I've been pretty sporadic, um, so you'll have to do that to find out when I post new videos. Right, with that out of the way, I am down here in Euclulet at a secret undisclosed location uh, somewhere along the Wild Pacific Trail and we are going snorkeling. This is going to be awesome. This is the first time I've ever snorkeled around here. I have two and a half experts with me. I have Mr. Johnny Shaw, the expert and experienced snorkeler, snorkelist. Snorkeler. Snorkeler. Yeah. Snorkeler. And his lovely wife, Ariane, who is no less expert at snorkeling. So we are going to have a great day out in that. I've got my GoPro with me, so we've got some underwater footage and we have the camera. So let's go. Let's do it. Let's get wet. So there was a mission, putting on a wetsuit. Haven't done that for a while. But we need them because the water is very cold. The question for the experts is how cold is the water? Between 10 and 14 degrees. Between 10 and 14 degrees centigrade. For you Americans, that's not Fahrenheit. Um, so wetsuits are needed. Um, the experts have their summer wetsuits. I only have the one. It is wool lined and I have not been in the water yet. This is, this is sweat. So we are going to get in the water very soon. I've got the GoPro to uh, see some footage underwater. Uh, this is a GoPro. This is just a GoPro. So it doesn't, it's, a, well, it's the first one. Uh, it doesn't have a screen. So I don't know what footage I will capture until afterwards. But this is the area we're in. The ocean is just on the other side of these rocks here. So we have a relatively calm stretch to a little calm little bay little bay to explore so it's uh the tide is on its way in um we're at just just before two o'clock so we've got a couple of hours before high tide so we're gonna see what we can see let's go
So, you, I hope, will have seen some footage from um, the first little snorkel. Um, Ariane is our resident wildlife expert, so she was pointing out many, many things. And uh, rather than me butcher um, names, <laughs> I'm going to let her talk and point out what we saw. Woohoo! Uh, yeah, lots of cool stuff out there. Um, and one of the things that we saw that was pretty neat is a uh, ochre star, it was an orange one, had its feet tented up kind of like that with its middle up in the air, up in the water, I guess I should say. <laughs> <laughs> um, they do that when they're eating. Um, they stick their little tube feet onto the rocks and then um, belly themselves up so that they can digest their food. They actually digest their food outside of the system. Um, and they stick their stomach outside their body while they're digesting. Um, so that was pretty cool to see. It's always super fun to see those guys eating. Um, saw lots of green sea anemones. Um, there's a big channel full of them. Um, they're green because of the phytoplankton that's, or the algae that's living in them. That and, photosynthesize. And you said that there was quite a current in that little yeah. channel that we were in. Yeah, quite a current. Yeah, it was a little, um, a little narrow um, area where the water's coming in and out. The anemones really like that. They need a little bit more uh, nutrient and water movement than other creatures. So it's always a good find, to sp or a good spot to find them. And then um, lots of red turban snails. That was a really cool find <laughs> too on all the kelp there, just all hanging out. Um, yeah, what else did we see? Saw I saw some, saw some fish. Um, I chased some fish. Um, I don't know how wildlife acceptable that is. Um, but <laughs> they seem to be having a great time. Yeah. Um, but we will kind of have to look at the footage to find out what they were. Um, Ariane, and I'm probably going with the expert's opinion on this, but Ariane was thinking surf perch. Yeah, or, or, or some shiner perch as well. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we'll see if we can, we can track them track them down. Uh, the GoPro, as I said, doesn't have a screen, so we just have to kind of guess um, and hope that the footage uh, comes out. Incidentally, uh, started, got into the water, put, turned the GoPro on, first thing, turn it on, um, went around, took it off, looked closer at things, and then remembered that it was not filming, so... <laughs> Now Yay. we live and learn. <laughs> uh, YouTuber 101, make sure the camera's on. Um, but that was that was great. That was really cool. Um, so we've got it. So we've got it on now um, and captured lots. Um, the the snails. They were really really cool. Once you see them on the kelp, they're everywhere. So many um, snails. Yeah. <laughs> um, and we do get giant Pacific octopus here that would be the that would be a hundred percent five star rating on TripAdvisor if we see one of them <laughs> um, hopefully the footage came out where I kind of stuck my hand under some rocks and crevices where there was some fish so who knows maybe we've already seen one and we just don't know um, <laughs> but yeah this is a, such an amazing spot so diverse with the uh, the seaweed as well so the um, the big the the seaweed that had the snails on that is kelp and we have kelp beds out here mm -hmm. right yeah that was giant kelp we were swimming through lots and lots of it out here and yeah such a huge habitat for lots of organisms yeah and sea urchins eat that is that right they do sea urchins love to munch on kelp um, and then sea otters kind of keep the urchins in check so that they don't go out of control and shave down the whole kelp forest because yeah they're a really important ecosystem there we go. We haven't seen any sea urchins yet, or mm -hmm. otters. We might be a bit close in, maybe, for otters. Um, but one other thing we saw, and they were the kind of gold-looking fingers, if uh, you will. Yes. <laughs> a little plethora of um, sea fingers. It's a type of seaweed. They're actually filled up with water. Am I allowed to say the name on here? Yeah, absolutely. Some people call them sea condoms. They look like little <laughs> thousands of fingery condoms of seaweed. Um, quite beautiful, actually. Yeah, like an amazing, an amazing, almost shiny gold color. Yeah. Um, so that was uh, that was pretty neat, and that was not something I knew. So I have learned about sea condoms. <laughs> so if I ever get a sea girlfriend, <laughs> we'll be fine. Highly ineffective. <laughs> no sea babies. Don't recommend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're adding a disclaimer down here. Don't actually use sea condoms. Um, 
but yeah so that was the that was the first little snorkel and we are going to uh, sub out so Ariane is going to uh, look after baby Atticus and Johnny is going to come with me and I think we're going to try checking out over here maybe over that way so we shall see but I hope you've learned something just from uh, from this nugget and then we'll get Johnny on with uh, with any additional once we go okay thanks Ariane bye Two done. We went a little further afield into some sort of mildly rougher water. So there was a lot of like water aeration. I don't know what else you'd call it, right? There was a lot of air in the water. More tumultuous as the waves crashed over the rock and yeah, yeah. stirs it all in together. And, yeah. yeah. So visibility wasn't great in in some parts. Also, the GoPro fogged up. So. Um, I won't know the footage until I get home, so we'll look at that and hopefully while we're talking you'll see some of that over the top of us. Um, but we, so first off we kind of went through the, or skirted the big kelp bed. Kelp, kelp forest. Yeah, call. kelp yeah. forest. Yeah. So that was, uh, that was pretty intense. I mean they're massive. We were in, how deep do you think the water was? Uh, we were probably at some of the deeper spots that were maybe 20 feet underneath of us and yeah the the uh, giant kelp that was around us was yeah still floating on the surface could have yeah. been 30 feet long some of them for yeah. sure yeah and definitely a little a little tangly yeah. in spots <laughs> yeah. um, but that was that was amazing and and where there's some sort of clear bottom um, 
as you said, that's where you tend to see a bit more wildlife, right? Why the kind of, what did you call it? Like a, the ledge or the drop off? Yeah, or? yeah, often on the sea, yeah, you can call it a sea wall or the, le the sea ledges. Um, yeah, when you're going around the edges of the rocks and there's uh, where the deep water meets the, the, it gets shallow very quickly. You get upwellings of the current there and you get lots of nooks and crannies for the mm. wildlife to hide in. And yeah, real, real good ecosystems. Yeah, so. We saw some rockfish, mm -hmm. we think. Yep. Rockfish. Yep, you saw um, a blue rockfish and yeah. maybe a yellowtail rockfish. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. some little little oh, things, little fishies. Yeah, too. Those guys, little, <laughs> little perches and little schools of hard to identify because they move so quick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, yeah, sea stars, that was pretty amazing. Johnny um, Johnny found a leather sea star. Yeah, the leather stars, yeah, next to the ochre stars are the more colorful ones. And yeah, they, they like to hide out in the. Uh, more, that was when the, the, we were in the spot where it was more aerator with more movement. They like the, where there's a lot more uh, seawater movement mm. and nutrients. Yeah. yeah, and the ochre, the ochre sea stars, they mm. can be orange, purple. Yeah. I think there was a brown one that I, I spent a bit of time focused on that looked amazing. There was also a huge sort of brownie, tan kind of colored one. Yeah. Um, in that in that area where the, the waves were breaking, that was that was pretty amazing too. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Even you know when it is lower visibility, like they were saying, and lots of movement, it's just such beautiful. The seaweed and the sea stars and the rock life that lives on the rocks. Um, so much going on out there, even when you don't see the great big fish swimming. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a lot yeah. to see. Yeah, um, and we did find a second urchin mm -hmm. shell. Um, which we left, uh, we, we pulled up because it was dead and we had a little look at and a discussion and um, you were saying they are the same? Yeah, yeah, they're, they're related actually to uh, the, the group of, of uh, animals are all related, the, the um, urchins and sand dollars and sea stars actually, they're all kind of these five segmented, um, yeah, crit critters that are all, all uh, related to each other. And, can look at a sand dollar and look at a, um, a sea urchin shell side by side and you can see the five segments on it and how they're kind of yeah divided and, and evolved in a very similar way so yeah that was uh, that was pretty cool yeah lots of lots of the same wildlife as as previously because well we're in the same place <laughs> <laughs> um but this was amazing the water like it's a little it's a little chilly i mean what we're sat in right now i would say is tepid bath water this is quite pleasant um, but certainly out by the open ocean uh, or open to those nooks, there's a bit of, um, it's a bit cooler, but it's an absolutely beautiful day. It was a great day for snorkeling and um, Johnny and Ariane's off camera with Atticus, but thank you so much for bringing me out here and showing me this spot and being on film with me. That's awesome. Thanks for getting us out here. A wonderful day for it. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. Look forward to doing it again soon. Oh, for sure. Yeah. For sure. Maybe with a new GoPro next time. Who knows? Um, so that's it for today, guys. Uh, thanks for joining me. Um, if you have any questions, please put them down in the comments. Uh, and again, if you haven't subscribed and you've made it this far through the video, please click the subscribe button down here on this side. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see you soon. See you in the next video. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye. Take care.